Hi everyone, my name is Akshay. I work as a graduate civil engineer at Balfour Beatty. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about how we can use one of the largest waste products in the UK to improve the design and construction of bridges. In our traditional bridge design, the expansion joints and bearings accommodate for load and movement. A corrosion and material failure of these materials have resulted in significant costs, uh, traffic disruptions, and uh, risk to the public. So as a result, the solution going forward would be designing and building integral bridges. So these types of bridges have no bearings and have no expansion joints. So as a result, significant amount of loads and movements are transferred through the backfill and into the ground. The existing design guidelines and recommendations have limited us from unlocking the full potential benefit of these types of bridges. So therefore, looking into existing literature and publication, I identified that that issue could be mitigated with implementation of an improved backfill. So that's when I come to rubber tires. Every year in the UK, we dispose 480,000 tons of rubber tires. Now, most of them are either burnt or dumped into landfill. Uh, that's concerning for our well-being and the well-being of our environment. So the solution for that would be you take the rubber tires, turn them into tire chips, which is 20 to 30 mil millimeter chips, and use them as a backfill behind the bridge abutment. So I've ran numerous uh, computer-aided simulations that have proved that using tire chips not only significantly improves the structural behavior of these types of bridges, but allow us to design and construct these bridges beyond the currently recommended guidelines. So in conclusion, uh, there's a great opportunity and scope for contractors, for consultants, for environmental agencies, government bodies, and academics to work together in being able to implement this innovative solution that is not only feasible, but cost-effective and sustainable. Thank you.